Hello everyone, this is Digital Coleman, and I'm offering this video to help you purchase, place, and save uh, different models and objects in your space, uh, whether you want to uh, build the look of your space, or if you're looking to set up a shop, all of these things are kind of the same bit of process. I'm going to start here uh, in place number 18, uh, where Everlasting Building has provided us with the ubiquitous plastic lawn chair uh, for the low, low price of 0001 Tez. Uh, there's still 865 of them, so uh, run to your nearest Everlasting Building uh, and get them. In order to buy this object, I'm going to right click. And you'll see that that kind of kicks me out of Tesland. Uh, note that on uh, the Mac, you might need to control click. It's a slightly different setup, uh, but it should get you to this page, which is asking me whether or not I'd like to make this purchase for 001 Tez. And you can see this is gonna cost me a total of seven cents. Uh, and I'm gonna hit confirm. And we're waiting for that operation to pend. And in the meantime, we can actually go ahead and go to my place. So I'm going to jump to place 31 here. And I'm going to put another lawn chair. I've already grabbed one, but uh, I feel like I need another one over here. It's just so like uh, somebody can have a conversation. Oh, we're having a load of trouble here. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I used the X key, which is for unglitching. I think I was inside of an object when it spawned. All right, so uh, I've got some things I'm selling here. You can see my fun ground plane uh, that we just made a few minutes ago in my minting video. But uh, now what I want to do is I want to place this chair. I'm going to open up my inventory, and you can see all the objects that either I have minted myself or that I've purchased from other people. Uh, and so all of those things will be listed here under the I. And so it's worth coming here. Uh, this also allows you to send these to somebody else or burn them. So in the case of ground two, this test piece of ground, I'll probably burn this later. Uh, but that's a sort of irrevocable operation, like you're permanently deleting that from the blockchain. Uh, so it's just worth being careful. All right, so uh, I have this chair here and I wanna place it in my space. Note that you can only place things in a space that you own or as an owner of a space, you can also give other people permission to help decorate your space, which is a really interesting feature and could be a way to set up community stores perhaps or uh, community parks. So I'm gonna click on the chair and you can see initially it's kind of tracking to the ground. I can also sort of like track this to other things so you can stack objects if you wanted to. And then uh, we have a whole bunch of key presses here from our control system that we should know about. So R and F allow us to make it larger and smaller. One and two will do your basic sort of rotation along the up-down axis, around the up-down axis. So this is the ones you might normally do, but three and four would let you do another axis here. And five and six, yet the third axis. So we could actually have fun and maybe make our chair stand up on one leg. I'm now using the mouse wheel to scroll up and down so that this chair might balance on one leg here. You'll also notice that it has a bounding box that's green. However, I move it so that part of the chair sticks out of side of my space, then the box goes red. Um, I can still move around while I've got this out, so it's worth checking out. Uh, and then I'm just gonna use the mouse button to place that object. And immediately it's gonna ask me a couple of things. Uh, one of which is how many of them do you want to place? And if you're just decorating your own place, then you would wanna leave this at one and you would wanna leave your price at zero because that means nobody can collect this 
This is just for you to decorate your place. And it's not about selling. Uh, and you're just putting it there for yourself. However, for instance, these heads or these people that I have in the background here, I placed five of them at that location. And I gave them a price of five Tez. And so now uh, there will always be one here up until the last one, number five, is bought. And then it will disappear. So there's kind of a stack of five there ready to be bought. So in this way, these are sort of available in store mode, whereas this chair, if I'm decorating, I would leave this just at one and a price at zero. So it's really important. Also note here in the notes that if you do want to make this a giveaway, which, you know, the chair is pretty much a giveaway, you can actually just click on this link and it'll set the Tez price to 0.0001 and then people can come and get your thing for free, basically for free. It might cost them a couple cents in transaction, um, but this is a really great way to sort of help the community with things that you've made that uh, you want other people to have. So uh, the chair is pretty much free. I think you might have reduced a couple of these zeros, but uh, just note that that option is here. But again, if I want to keep this chair for myself and not sell it, I need to put it at zero. So I'm going to place that item, and you'll note that immediately there's another chair floating around. Uh, this means that uh, it's ready for me to place a second thing. This is super helpful if you are placing a whole bunch of, say, flowers or grass or rocks. Uh, however, in my case, I already placed my one chair. I can't place another one. I don't own a second copy, so if I try and place it again, it's not going to work. But what I am going to do is press C. And that clears it out so that my cursor is no longer trying to place an object. Now, at the moment, you think, oh, we're done, except we never confirmed this on the blockchain. And we can do a whole bunch of changes uh, at once. Let's say I wanted to add a ground plane. I want to make some more people. I want to add some trees. We can do a whole bunch of things on my place as long as I don't exit the Tesland Explore mode. Because if I were to... Uh, hit escape and, and move away from this web page right now, this chair would go away because I have not saved my changes. And you can see if I roll over here, it says press U to save changes. So this is really important uh, and it's maybe a little bit non-intuitive if you haven't done a thing like this on the blockchain, but things aren't real until it's on the blockchain. And so uh, all you know, we can go around and we can do all the things in our space but until we hit that U button, if we leave here, uh, it's it all gets reverted. So how often you want to do press U uh, is up to you. But just know that basically you're not saving. Nothing is saved until you hit the U button. So I'm going to hit U right now. Oh, and and I, it should be said that like at the moment I can't re grab this chair. So if I decide actually like I went around and looked at it and I'm like you know what. That looks kind of crappy. I don't like my dancing chair idea. Uh, I can hover over it and hit the delete key or a function, a function backspace on a Mac. So delete key on a Windows. So I'm going to hit delete. Uh, and now I can go back to my inventory, get that chair again, and maybe try it. Uh, just I'm going to make a nice uh, normal arrangement of chairs uh, for two people to sit and uh, check out the store. All right, so there we go. I'm going to place that, hit C to clear. Uh, we have the chair, and now I'm going to go ahead and hit U, and it's going to open up Temple once again. Get my password one more time. And I'm going to confirm that transaction. It's going to cost me about five cents to say, yes, that chair should be there uh, as long as Tesland exists. So there we go. I have committed to having the chair there. I'm not entirely sure that it's exactly the same size as the other one. I think I made the other one bigger. <laughs> I'll have to fix that later. Um, but at the moment, uh, I have saved my changes to my space. And here you see it goes away and then uh, it's read from the blockchain and replaced where it's supposed to be. 
Now, I can still, because this is my place, I can still hover on this and hit that delete key again and remove it. Uh, but once again, if I quit and come back, that chair will still be there because I have not saved my changes. So the same thing holds true as if you remove something, even though I don't see a dialogue that says, you know, press U to remove the invisible chair or to save those changes. I still have to press U to confirm that on the blockchain. Um, and it's not in my inventory yet uh, because in, in the blockchain's eyes, that chair is still sitting there on the ground. So I would have to press U to undelete that uh, or to confirm that deletion. So this is really how it works in terms of placing your items uh, and uh, placing your items out for sale, um, buying items from other people, bringing them back to your place and arranging them in space. Uh, I hope you have fun with that. Uh, there's lots of ways that you can play with scale. Um, I've put some things way up here in the sky, which was quite, a quite fun to try and figure out how to place. Um, but there's lots of opportunities. Um, the last thing I'll say is that uh, you should check out some of the more advanced settings that are located here in the settings. Uh, for instance, upping your triangle limit. Some of us are working with more than uh, 5,000 triangles and doing crazier things, but it's not safe for everybody's computer. Uh, so be aware that that might be a limit that you want to play with a little bit. Um, and uh, there are some other sort of fine-tuned things, fine things that you can do uh, here in the settings in terms of turning on shadows and things like that. And then the last thing I'll say is that there is, the last customization you might want to know is pressing P. And this allows you to edit your place. So for instance, my ground color is this nice uh, mauve, or no, I guess it's not mauve, it's just dirt. I'm going to call it gray dirt. Uh, and we have the ability to add permissions for other people to uh, change or place items. Uh, and then we can also remove permissions from other people. So I think uh, this gives you a lot of really great options to start customizing your place and uh, start building your world in Tesland. Uh, good luck, and I'll see you out here.